Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the brand new rotating goals widget from Stream Elements. So when you click the link in the description or the one from the Stream Elements Discord in the widget share channel, you will get a new overlay called AIO Rotato Goal with a nice dinosaur picture. Let's open it up. As you can see here, there are three bars right now. One for Twitch, one for YouTube and one for Facebook. I wanted this widget to be available on all platforms because I see a lot of people in the community asking for more widgets for Facebook and YouTube. So here you go. We can use them on all three platforms. I will now show you what all the custom options are because there are a lot of custom options here. You can make it just the way you want. So let's click on the Twitch, then click on settings. So as you can see, there are a lot of options already and those are still collapsed. So <laughs> bear with me. There is a lot of customization possible here. Let's look at the main features first. So the color of the bar, let's make it like a red color and not completely transparent. So let's select that. As you can see here, there's a little bit of gradient in the bar and it can also pulsate, but we'll come to, be, to that later. Let's make the second color something bluish. Also with a higher <coughs> visibility. Let's give the edge of the bar a higher contrasted color so that you can see it better. So now it's black and as you can see, it looks really nice when it flips. Here you can set the flip direction. You can let it flip up or down. Uh, personally, I like it better when it's going down. It looks more natural to myself. Here we can do the animation speed. I usually put it at four. It's a little bit slower, but it looks really clean. Then we have the goal duration. So that's the time how long the goal sets before it flips around. But for testing purposes, we'll just keep it at 10. So it will flip uh, regularly within this uh, video. So here you can set the gradient transition. Um, the color will move from the left to right a little bit. It's very subtle, but people did notice it when I was streaming and testing out the widget. So go nuts with that yourself. Here you can change the font to uh, whatever you have installed or what's already in the uh, in the list. You can use custom fonts. I use it myself. Uh, for example, I use the uh, the Taiko font because it looks really clean. But uh, that is a custom font I have installed on my PC. If you download a custom font, make sure to uh, restart the browser or else it won't update the fonts installed on your PC. Here we can make the font color another color, of course. You can make it black or white or whatever you want. I usually keep it white because it looks really clean and it you can see it very well on most of the colors. Now here we can change the font size. That's pretty obvious, I think. It will also change the font size of the uh, name of the widget. But we'll come back to that later because there's a lot of customization, as I said earlier. So let's uh, put it at uh, 150 for now. Because obviously this is going to be pretty small on your stream. So you need big numbers <laughs> to let people know what your goal is. The font shadow size, well, you can obviously change that just however you like. It defaults at one, I think, which is pretty nice. It gives you a little bit of depth. Then there's the label height. So that is the name of, for example, the cheer. Right now, you can change that here. As you can see, it will be bigger or smaller. And then there's the vertical offset, so you can place it higher up or more below. The next thing is the font color. You can 
actually change the font color of this label itself. Let's make it red. Then you can change the size of the icon. Let's put it at 50 so that it's half the size. And then you can change the place of the icon as well. So if you want to make the icon smaller, but the name bigger, then you can do that like that. And that's how you can play with how it looks. Because obviously, uh, for some people, the name is more important than the icon and other people want the icon uh, to, to stand out more than the name. But that you can customize all of that. Then of course we have the icon color. Let's make that purple. Okay, and then we have the bar glow that is talking about uh, this bar you have right here that shows the progress. It has a small glow to it. Um, let's change the bar icon color to full red. Let's make the glow. Uh, let's make it a green glow. This is just for showing how it works. Let's make the second one green as well. As you can now see, the bar has a small green glow to it, and you can make that glow bigger. Or you can make it smaller. I prefer the small glow myself. Maybe <laughs> green wasn't the best option here, but you can see it right here. Okay, the second thing I want to show you is the standard options. Those are followers. You can just turn them on or disable them because if you only want a follower and a sub goal or just a chair and a sub goal or a sub and a donation goal, you can just disable all the other ones. So it will only rotate between the ones that you picked. But I like to have them all included right now for the tutorial. So they are all turned on by default, uh, but you can disable them here. This is where you put in the number that you want for the goal, and it will automatically be shown on the bar. Um, here you can change the icon. As you can see, there's already a, a list here with defaults, but you can also use custom icons or even emotes for that matter. But then you have to select this option, other text, enter and enter below. And then here you can use this option. So let's change the uh, icon to the Twitch icon because obviously we are looking for Twitch followers in this case. So here is the Twitch logo and there it is updated. It now has the Twitch logo and we can do the same thing for tips and cheers and everything else. So let's use the uh, donate one for tips and for cheers. Um, we will use the diamond, the gem. And again, you can customize everything. Let's put uh, some different colors on the board just to show uh, the rotating a bit more. That is a bit more obvious. Um, I personally have everything the same. I will show you after uh, I've set this all up, what mine looks like so you get a better idea of what I mean. Um, dark purple for the bits. That should be good because bits is Twitch, of course. And then we select uh, well, maybe a sea green kind of color. So this is going to be all over the place the, uh, in terms of colors. <laughs> but it's just to show you how it uh, ends up. Subscribers. For subscribers, we're going to uh, get the crown logo. You can change the name. You can just use subs or call the chair one bits. Let's do that right now because uh, bits are more obvious to viewers than chairs usually. And you can even put in your merch goals. And now we are going to the advanced tab because everything up till now was pretty easy. 
But here is the trick. The advanced tab has some of the best features from this widget. Card radius. As I know, customization and uh, fitting widgets into your own theme is sometimes pretty hard. Um, this is the default form. It's just a rectangle, but I know a lot of people don't have sharp edges in their themes. So what I wanted to do is made it possible for people to customize the sharpness of the edges to fit it within their overlays. So card radius, as you can see, we can get rounded edges for this widget. If you are going to do that, you might want to set the card thickness uh, lower because it is a bit finicky on the corners uh, with the bar. But if you set it to zero, there's no problem. It will just work like everything else. Um, but if you set it to high, and if you can already see it, when it flips in the corners, it won't render properly. So when using the card radius button, make sure to make the card less thick. You can just make it however sharp or rounded you want yourself. Now here we can set the width. As you can see, we can make it pretty small or pretty wide. And here we can make it higher or lower. Of course, you have to adjust the letter settings and the number settings, but uh, that's all possible uh, within the other options, of course. Here we have the option to choose the currency. For example, I'm from the Netherlands and we pay in euros here. So I set it to euros and you can choose to put decimals in or just leave them out and get a rounded number. This next option is pretty, uh, pretty cool. <laughs> I think um, this is one of the main things that uh, stands out for this widget. And that is the vertical bar option. It's currently set to no because it's now a horizontal bar, but you can make it vertical as well. Well, this changes a little bit of how the widget works because um, it's basically just the same widget, but it's tilted. So you need to play a little bit more with the box and how it's going to look like. As you can see, it's a bit tricky to get it exactly right. So here you need to play a lot with the uh, height override or, and the width override to get it uh, done properly. But it shouldn't be a problem as I managed it to work myself. As you can see right here, you can get it uh, to work right. And then you have to play with the margins uh, for the text and everything. So let's make the label height 20 and the vertical offset we set to two so that it doesn't fall off the card. And then we are going to do uh, somewhat the same for the, uh, for the logo. Let's put the icon size all the way down to 10 and then put the vertical offset to five to six. So the thing is with the vertical bar, it might be better to just remove the text completely, the label, uh, the label text, and just go for the icon itself, uh, which looks uh, much cleaner. As you can see right now, I just removed the text and made the icon bigger so that it stands out a bit more and it looks much cleaner. And people already know that the gems are for the bits. The donation icon speaks for itself and also the followers. That way it looks super clean. So this is what I currently use for my stream. It's um, the same colors that I use in my overlays and my panels. Uh, it's the same font I use in my overlays and my panels. So it, it all fits together pretty nicely. There's also a vertical one. Um, I will just show you inside of my overlays and that way you can just see them in action. So this is what it looks like in my own overlay. In my personal overlay, it fits really well with all the colors going on in the theme already. 
and I will just show you the vertical bar as well, which I don't use uh, during my gaming session, but I do use when I'm just chatting. As you can see it right here, it fits a lot better with this scene to do it vertical on the side um, than anywhere else in the scene because we have the chat on the right side and we have the labels below. So it's pretty nice and integrated into the uh, whole camera area here. So that's it. I hope you liked the tutorial. I hope you go nuts um, with your own goals bar. And uh, I hope to see some of them uh, when I'm surfing on Twitch or YouTube or Facebook. If you have any questions, please drop by the Stream Elements Discord. Uh, we will help you out there. Um, the link will be down in the description. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to click the like button and maybe subscribe for more tutorials. Stay safe and I'll catch you on the next tutorial.